June the 1st, 2025. Guys, uh, beautiful morning here in central Mississippi. Again, another day without rain. It is 63, feels like 66. Humidity is 99%. And uh, yesterday, as it warmed up, the humidity did go down some, and that helped a little bit. Anyway, what you're looking at, we're in a severe G4 uh, magnetic storm. We're in an S2 radiation storm, and the incoming solar wind speed is above 1,000 kilometers per second. Geomagnetic storm warning is now in effect. We've got this G4 going on today. If you can look in the bottom right here, tomorrow, a G4, and a G2 by Tuesday, if that's with no activity occurring or no further activity. Now, if we look at the information here, we can see it's been fairly quiet after that last flare yesterday afternoon. And now we're kind of leveling back off. We hope that holds up for a while, gives us a break on everything. We have a still, though, a 25% chance of an X flare. M flare 65, uh, C flare 99, and proton event 99%. That's a very high rating. But guys, we're in a solar radiation storm. The Schumann resonance is spiking up and down. And uh, again, radiation storm, geomagnetic storm, name it. It's happening right now. Also, you can see this morning the sun's rising on this side of the planet. Look at the aurora burn off right there. Very strong. We see this uh, during these strong solar winds, guys. And you can see we're going to have a K index of about 8 or KP index of about 8 today. So the sun's going to be difficult to deal with. Try to avoid it at all costs. If you got to get in it, stay as hydrated as possible. Wear a shady, cool hat, not a tight baseball hat that uh, you, where your, your head can't breathe. You're going to have to stay cool and hydrated. Now, spaceweather.com, also a link on our website at bpearthwatch.com. Guys, uh, look at this. Solar wind speed, 1114.7 kilometers per second. Density is very low. Why is that? Because it's the smoking high wind scenario. The faster that solar wind's blowing, it splits the density of the cloud somewhat. But 1114.7, that's extremely strong. They're saying, again, geo, a severe geomagnetic storm watch. With this is going to, uh, again, it came in, it hit, and started peaking around uh, 8 a.m. UTC time, and now the G4 is in full effect. Now, convert the speed right here is your kilometers per second. That's what we're dealing with, and that puts us at 2 million, 49, or 493,512 miles an hour. You might as well say 2.5 million miles per hour. Guys, I, I never remember seeing that wind speed. I've seen strong CMEs. I've seen the X flares pile up one day and strike Japan and cause the Fukushima event and that giant tsunami. But this is very high solar winds, and... Uh, we, when you get to the edge of science like we're seeing now, you're getting into unknown variables. So that's, that's when you learn, that's when you pay attention, that's when we see the effects and you work from that point on, on trying to do anything you can to alleviate any of the problems. But if you're not aware of it, like I see in the comments, you know, in the last month or so talking about these solar storms, a lot of folks say we were we're not aware of this situation with the sun and the effects. But now thousands and thousands and thousands of more people are. And that's a good thing. Knowledge is power. And uh, you, everyone wants to know what's going on. You need to know it, or if you don't, if you don't know why you're feeling crappy, then you, you, you have no idea. You're kind of wandering blind. But if you know it, you know, again, to. Stay out of the sun as much as you can, hydrate, and all of that. Just take it really easy. Let's take a look at the sun. This is yesterday when that big flare started. We'll play it through. You'll see that there was a secondary flare after that. We saw that on the chart. But it, then it started becoming much calmer. Let's hope it uh, continues that as it continues its journey now around the sun. And you can see it very mild now compared to what we're seeing. It's still very large. And when this thing went yesterday, it, it was like it charged everything around it. Now that's starting to come down. We're just going to have to see what happens now. We have talked about the sun and the Earth's magnetic connectivity point usually being in this area. So we'll keep an eye on that. 
But uh, right now, let's get through the G4 magnetic storm for the next two days and then come through the G2 on the day three and just be very careful. Guys, we're watching this. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.